Will this Echo Dot work with this smart light bulb? And why is this still a thing? Five years ago, industry analysts predicted that the smart home market would be worth 137 billion by 2023. And they were wrong, by a lot. Today, it's only worth about 14.5 billion. Why? One big issue slowing everything down? Compatibility. Big tech rivals Amazon, Google, and Apple have been at odds for years, but have finally started working together to do something about the problem. Their proposed solution is called Matter, and I'll explain why it matters in about three minutes. In 2018, when all these new connected home gadgets started rolling out, more than one in three people buying into the category reported issues setting things up. One survey at the time found that 22% of people were so unsatisfied, they returned their purchase. And two years later, people were still turned off. Even when we were stuck at home early in the pandemic, we weren't exactly clamoring for smart home stuff. People were buying other tech products and services, just not the gadgets that are supposed to make our lives at home a little bit easier. Matter was born out of the Zigbee standard, which is a long time base for smart home tech. Like other protocols, it still let companies create a walled garden around their products. Ultimately, Matter won over most of the industry, including these heavy hitters and all of these other companies. The world got a glimpse at Matter at CES 2022, but the standard just started rolling out in November. It works as a common language, so almost any product you want compare with whichever ecosystem you prefer. So my Apple HomePod should work seamlessly with these third-party smart plugs. It's common for other standards to require access to the internet. See this light bulb? It has to connect to a hub smart device. When you issue a command, it travels from the hub to the manufacturer's servers, then back to your compatible devices to turn on your light. Matter is different. It's a local standard, so the communication stays within your home network. It happens through Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and Thread, which is an IP-based protocol. It lets your hub speak directly to your devices, which is a plus if there's an internet outage. And local communication lets automation happen more quickly. Now, Matter won't fix everything. Some products like your first-generation Echo won't get Matter support, while others like this Echo Dot will get Matter support through an update. Sounds great, but will that actually change anything? All the experts I spoke to said yes, but the change will be gradual. Next year, less than 44% of new gadgets will be Matter compatible. And analysts are cautiously optimistic about the industry's outlook in the years to come. They expect billions of Matter-enabled gadgets to ship over the next eight years. The companies backing Matter are releasing things slowly, with updates to cover more products over time. One reason for the gradual release is they want to get it right for their sake and for ours. If nothing else, you'll no longer have to guess or be a tech expert to know which ecosystem your new speaker is compatible with.